So I just got this from Amazon. It was one of those things I, um, I saw available. It was not at the regular price. I paid a little bit extra for it, but I really wanted a Cantina band member. And it didn't take long to get here. So here it is. Black Series Cantina band member Figrin Dan here. Um, I've actually ordered a lot of them. I just wanted to get one a little early because I was just excited. Um, being a musician, a music teacher, uh, the Cantina Band's always been one of my favorite things. So I thought, uh, oh, we should show the back here, right? So I've been excited to get these guys. Um, I love that it comes with three different instruments in there. Um, when they came out, like when the, we had the fan club, three and three quarter inch Cantina Band member way back when, I bought so many of those. Uh, always been one of my favorites here. So even if he does look kind of like a butthead, but, uh, you can see the detail on the face. I also want to show the detail on the hands here. Lots of, they're kind of gnarly there, aren't they? But, uh, definitely being made to play some instruments there. So let's get some instruments out. What do we got here? I do not know the names of all the instruments. <laughs> I know one's a clue horn. That's all I, I remember. Um, I teach real musical instruments. I know what those are. Um, uh, ooh, part of that one just came off. Okay, looks like I was supposed to. So, no worries there. So we have this one. There we go. Had a better vocal, it remind me of a bassoon there, but you can actually see we've got paint on the accessories, which is cool. I've had a lot of Black Series stuff lately where the accessories have been unpainted, so it's kind of nice to, to get that. This is more like a vocal for a uh, bassoon here. Oh, this looks more like a bass clarinet, really, but um, so let's see what he looks like playing each instrument. So we have, I'm pretty sure this is the clue horn, the, the figured Dan instrument here. Uh, I can see I've got his vocal. It actually can go into the mouth. You can insert it in there and it stays pretty well. With wind instruments, you always remember, remember left hand on top. Uh, that's the way almost all instruments are played, whether if you look at flute, clarinet, or anything like that. So uh, I want to make sure you have that left hand on top like that. It looks pretty good. It's nicely, you know, it looks like he's playing the instrument well. So let's look at the other instruments then. So getting this instrument set up. Just kind of went with a straight like clarinet look or um, bass clarinet somewhat. So you can see it kind of works. You want to go straight down. Uh, make sure you get the hands down there, Lorik, and left hand on top. Still looks pretty good. This is almost like you're almost getting a flute. I know nobody plays one like a flute in the band there, but um, kind of has to elevate a little bit more and go a little more, more to the side. And even then you can see that mouthpiece isn't quite in the mouth. But uh, you can still make it look pretty good. So, you know, all in all, you can get all the instruments to work really well. There's the back. You know, that's the thing about the Cantina Band. They're very plain um, clothes on these. And, yeah, it makes sense for anybody who's ever played in a music group, uh, you know, other than like a, a rock band or, you know, I think a hair metal from the 80s or something. But most of the time when you play in a music group, you play, you, you wear very plain clothes. Um, not to stand out, you know, you're, you're there for entertainment and people to listen to the music, not to look at you necessarily. So it kind of makes sense. Uh, so it's pretty cool. I'm really excited about this. I'm looking forward to getting more and putting together the whole band.